Norwegian Tune Winge, Director, the Arts Festival of North Norway. Welcome to SKAPI interview. Thank you very much. A busy week with art and music, having different cultures together under one roof here in Hastad and ensuring everything runs smoothly. Has it been hard for you and your staff? Yes, it has, but it has also been great fun. Lot of work, but great fun also. Uh, having vast cultures together, African culture, South American culture, Norwegian <coughs> culture, and cultures from other parts of Europe, all engaging in one thing, art and music. Would you say you are, you are building bridges amongst the people of this world? I hope so. I really hope so. I think that music and culture is a language that can com uh, bring people from different nations and different kinds of genres together. Uh, 20, uh, 20, <coughs> 2013 festival, mm -hmm. as we have seen, has been a success. Would you say the same? It looks so. We are looking into the figures now, but people have been very content coming to me and say, oh, this is fun, we have a great time. Uh, you have managed the same event earlier. What would you say you did different this year? We moved everything that has to do with children down in the center and people really appreciated that. Uh, Tonya, focus with us on the many different artists who performed this year. Which ones do you think had a greater impact during the festival? Well, one of the really big ones was Rukia Traore from Mali. She was excellent. And uh, name a few more. Yeah, and this uh, young guy from, from Northern Norway, Modi, mm -hmm. also great, and of course our festival artist in residence, Knut Erik Sundqvist, he's a great double bass player and he's done so many different fun things. Talk to us about the many volunteers work, <coughs> working during your festival. <coughs> what value do they add to the festival, would you say? We couldn't make it without them. There are, this year there are exactly 100 and they do an extraordinary job. Every artist come to me, me and say, these people, they, they do everything for me, so we couldn't do without them. Uh, we have noticed that you have a number of sponsors, both governmental and private. Speak to us about their contribution to the festival success, the impact. Well, it, 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 cause it, it it's very important for us that many, there are many owners and many many different organizations that want this to be good. So both governmental and other sponsorships are very important. Uh, th this year, there were no table groups invited to perform. For example, Rokia Traore, as you mentioned earlier, and Makombe, representing Africa, Afro-Cuba, All Stars, representing South America, and many other groups representing other regions, including Diana Reeves from America, Norwegian Lisa Skoglund, uh, Skoglund sorry, Katelet, Kyrie Bremnes together with Shell Bjornstad and the upcoming young band of Jonas Alaska, to mention a few. What impact do you think these groups brought to this year's festival? I think, it, like earlier, yes, it's, it's very important that we do everything. Young talents, established artists, different genres. That's, that's the soul of the arts festival. Uh, let us wind up with what I think most people would like to know. What do you have in store for next year, 2014 festival? Oh, if you could yeah. reveal something. Yeah, I'm sure you would like to know, but I won't <laughs> reveal. But I can tell you that the emphasis on children will be the same. It's children and young people. Can you repeat that again because yeah. of this noise? Yeah, uh, thanks to the helicopter. <laughs> I can t at least tell you that uh, the focus on children and young people will be as we started this year, including them in the center of the festival. Thank you. Thank you to Nevinje, director the Arts Festival of North Norway, for coming to SKAPI interview today. My pleasure. Thank you.